Fibula. The fibula is a long bone found in the lower limb and is situated on the lateral side of the leg. It lies lateral to the tibia and is homologous with the ulnar in the upper limb. Unlike the tibia, it does not take part in transmission of the body weight, therefore it is commonly used as a bone graft. Parts Upper end, shaft and lower end. The upper end has a head and a neck. Head it is the upper expanded part and overhangs the shaft on the posterior and lateral aspects. It has a circular facet which articulates with the fibular facet on the lateral condyle of the tibia. Styloid process. This is the apex of the head and projects upwards from the posterior lateral aspect of the head. Neck. This is the constricted part right below the head. It connects the head with the shaft. The common peroneal nerve is related to its posterior lateral aspect. Shaft. It presents with three borders, anterior, posterior, and medial, and three surfaces, medial, lateral, and posterior. Anterior border starts below the anterior part of the head. It extends downwards, splits to enclose a triangular-shaped space, and then continues to the lateral surface of the lateral malleolus. Posterior border. It extends from the posterior aspect of the head to the lateral margin of the groove on the posterior surface of the lateral malleolus. It is more defined in the lower part. Medial border. This is also known as the interosseous border. It lies medial to the anterior border. In its upper part, it lies in close proximity to the anterior border. In its lower part, it splits to enclose a triangular area. Medial surface. This is also known as the extensor surface. It lies between the anterior and medial borders. The lateral surface is also known as the peroneal surface. It lies between the anterior and posterior borders. The posterior surface is also known as the flexor surface. It lies between the medial and posterior borders. Its upper two-thirds is divided into medial and lateral parts by a sharp ridge known as the medial crest. The peroneal artery descends along the medial crest. The nutrien artery is derived from the peroneal artery and enters the nutrient foramen located in the middle of the posterior surface. The nutrient canal is directed downwards. Lower end. The lower end forms the lateral malleolus. The lateral malleolus projects further down when compared to the medial malleolus. It presents with the following. The anterior surface, which is rough and round. The posterior surface, which has a groove that lodges the tendons of peroneus brevis and longus muscles. The medial surface, which has a triangular surface in the front and a fossa below, and behind it, the malleolar fossa. The lateral surface, which is triangular and subcutaneous. Determination of the side. The rounded head is directed upwards. The flat end is directed down. The triangular facet in its lower part faces medially. The depression in the lower end lies behind and below the triangular facet. Ossification. The fibula ossifies from three centers one primary and two secondary. The primary center appears in the middle of the shaft in the eighth week of intrauterine life. Secondary centers. In the upper end, they appear at around three to four years and fuse with the shaft by 20 years. Lower end appears at around one to two years and fuses with the shaft by 18 years.